Hey there, Alan Peterson here with IamNirvana.com and uh, welcome uh, back to those who are following me as I move from uh, Minneapolis to San Francisco. Now, today I want to talk a little bit about the U.S. Postal Service because this is a big part of a move is making sure that your mail is moves along with you or follows you uh, to your new location. So I have two spots that I need to forward to uh, our new place in San Francisco. That's the um, home address here, obviously. And then I also have a PO box uh, that uh, for my business that also needs to be forwarded. Uh, now, what I decided to do is because uh, right now we uh, we we got a, a a short term lease in San Francisco for a place until the end of December before we find a more permanent uh, place. So. You know, since so we still don't have a complete permanent address yet, I decided I was just going to get a PO box in San Francisco, and so to do that, it's a pretty straightforward process, uh, but there is a, a little kink to it. So, uh, what you want to do is, if you're doing this, if you're relocating, if you're moving, is you need to go to the uh, U.S. Uh, Post Office uh, website here at USPS.com. Now, obviously, I'm in the U.S., moving from Minneapolis, from Minnesota to California, so this is only for U.S. Uh, viewers, but uh, anyway, um, uh, you go into the main page here to the to the website and go to locate a post office and click on that, and uh, and then here from the uh, drop down just to select PO boxes online, you'll do, do the application online, um, but you'll have to, uh, but then you know there's, there's other steps to it. And then uh, you just need to sign in, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm already. Uh, Sign in, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and come in here. And so, um, as you can see, I got my one in uh, Minneapolis here, and I have began begun the the setup for the PO box in San Francisco. So now, um, the kink to it is you can set it up online here. However, you can't get your actual PO box. I can't get the PO box number in California until I show up uh, with some form of ID. I need two forms of ID. Uh, to present to them and then I'll get the uh, PO box and key. So to work around that, since I didn't know that, I should have gotten it when I was there last time, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't think about that. So if, what you want to do is you want to, if you're over, if you're in your new location checking things out, is go ahead and get a PO box as soon as possible. They're pretty dirt cheap. I'm paying uh, for the for the size number three, so it's not not the smallest, not the second smallest, but the third. So it's a pretty big PO box size, and that's fifty five dollars for six months. Um, the smallest uh, PO box size is $22 uh, for six months. Some other places it might be $36 and $46. It varies on location, but it's very cheap to get a PO box. And so, uh, so anyway, so once I go to San Francisco, uh, I'll be arriving there, leaving here on Saturday driving. I'll be arriving there um, hopefully sometime by Monday. Um, I will then be able to get my key and my PO box number. What I will do then is you can go online and you can then f online, you can forward your uh, home address and my other PO box here in Minneapolis to my new PO box in San Francisco. And so that is what I'm going to do. And, I've, and then I'm going to put a hold on the email, on the uh, mail here at home since uh, I don't want that piling up. And so that's the, uh, the master plan right now. Now, if you're looking for a PO box, it's a pretty straightforward. You just basically you enter the where you want to uh, your PO box. You would enter the address, uh, city and state, and then and then search within you know how many miles, and it will then pinpoint you to all the different locations on, uh, available. So it's just for example here. I just put an address here, and let's say you want to find a PO box you know within a mile. And you just hit the search, and uh, right now it's searching for uh, for those locations. And so, as you can see from that address that I put in, there are two uh, PO boxes, two two US post. There's three, four, five, five. There's five uh, post office uh, post offices w uh, within less than a mile of that location. And so here are the different prices. Um, like I told you, there's the the smallest one here is a three inches by 5.5, which is $46 for uh, six months. So the smaller ones are usually about $46 for six months. Uh, this one here is $22. As you can see, it even varies from location. So just so if you don't, it, it, so versus instead of having to walk 0.16 miles or 0.4, 0.1 miles, if you just walk a little bit more, <laughs> you can get uh, you can save some money. So always check the prices because they do vary even within you know right next to each other. Um, so here's this one's 36 months versus 46 months. 
I mean, thirty-six dollars versus forty-six dollars. So anyway, so then uh, and then it tells you there's availability. So for example, uh, no, this one uh, must be very popular because there's only one available is this huge big one. Uh, this one must be less popular because they're all available. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, you can figure out right away if not, if one's not available and you have, want to be on that one, you can join the waiting list. Um, if not, just select the one you want. You select the PO box. You hit continue. And then it'll walk you through the process that you need to uh, sign up. So it's very simple to get the ball rolling right online. Um, obviously, like I said, though, you will you are going to need to go into the actual PO box and present two forms of ID to get your PO box number assigned to you and get your key. You can't do it from uh, for online uh, for that. So you can do everything but get the actual key. And I actually, I tried to go to my local post office here in Minnesota, Minneapolis, and I asked if they would assign me the PO box number in California so I could start forwarding everything now. And they said they can't do that. You have to be present. So even though it's the United States Postal Service, not the California Postal Service or the Minnesota Postal Service, uh, you, you can't do that. And I'm sure it's probably security or something, you know, make sure some fraudster or something isn't, isn't setting it up. But anyway, that's it. So uh, just little tips here. Um, one thing that uh, this is a very important part of, of, of any move is to make sure that you are, are relocate your, your mail is going to be is going to follow you and your bills and all that good stuff and uh, I, I just find that the PO box is the best way to go um, until you're totally totally settled in and even moving forward I've, I've had a PO box now for years for my business so I just like using a PO box versus my home address uh, which is ideal um, if you work out of, the, out of the home like I do. So, all right, so uh, that's it uh, for the tip for today. Um, thanks for following me, and I will talk to you soon.